Hello everybody, welcome to a tropical update here. This is what's currently going on worldwide right now. And we got tropical cyclone 08S, also known as Danilo, still ongoing in the southwest Indian Ocean. And we also got the remnants of tropical cyclone 9P, which used to be uh, Emojin, uh, that have a low chance of tropical cyclone development according to the data that we see. Um, so that uh, may be something to... Uh, Something possibly watch here over the next day or two here. Um, again, really little chance for that at this point in time, but you never know with these things. Um, looking at the main thing to talk about right now, of course, Tropical Cyclone 08S, also known as Danilo. Currently has 50 knot winds, which is about 60 miles per hour. Forecast to gradually weaken in the intensity here over the next two days. Uh, very, very gradually weaken. Um, and uh, come really, really close to perhaps make landfall from the rest of Union as a weak tropical uh, storm strength system here. Um, so a lot better news compared to what we had about 24 hours ago from now, a little over 24 hours ago from now. Um, however, the forecast track and intensity is still subject to change here, so this could be maybe a remnant low by the time it gets here. It could be maybe as weak as that, or maybe a, a Category 1 cyclone by the time it makes it over here. Um, again, really uncertain at this time. Uh, of course, we get a better grasp on how things will be um, in the coming days as we lead up closer and closer to either close, closest approach to Mauritius and Lower Union or possibly landfall one of the two uh, islands there. Um, so we'll see about that. And those of you guys in Rodrigues, um, it's looking less likely that you guys will receive the tropical storm force winds, uh, at least on this latest cone here. But again, if this cone shifts more to the south, you guys are going to be in the outer uh, tropical storm force winds extent from this system here. I'm um, going to really kind of track dependent here um, at this point, I would say. Uh, but regardless, you all three of you um, need to be watching uh, this cyclone uh, over the next two days here as it progresses with time again. Really uncertain um, as to uh, what exactly the cyclone is going to do. Here's what the cyclone is currently doing right now. Uh, however, on satellite imagery, um, still trying to fire up convection near the center of circulation. It is being sheared a little bit here. Um, as you can see, uh, some sear streaming into the system there. And this is water vapor imagery right now. So far, it's in a fairly moist environment, um, though going off of its uh, latest uh, forecast track from the DTWC, it is forecast to encounter some of this drier air that you see uh, to its west here, especially once you get uh, near uh, Mercedes and Lower Union to the north of there. There's a lot of uh, dry air and st dry, stable air uh, ahead of it there. And here's infrared imagery uh, proper, and uh, again, you can see what I was saying in uh, the water vapor uh, imagery. This day, uh, again, it's uh, fairly uh, persistent convective flare-ups uh, near the center circulation there. Again, the center is uh, sheared. I think the center is right about here uh, on my mouse cursor, and you can see it a lot better on visible imagery here. The center is... Um, to the northeast of that, uh, all that those convective flare up uh, flare ups there, as you can see in this uh, twelve hour satellite loop here, um, right there as the sun comes up. And again, you can see the center is starting to get slightly exposed here due to some of that uh, winter getting in and affecting the system right now. So all three these are twelve hour loops. Um, I forgot to mention that these are all three twelve hour loops that it's seen of the storm right now. Um, as it progresses on with time. So right now the system is currently sheared. Um, and again, it is forecast to very gradually weaken here over the next few days and likely, um, be, uh, again, make its nearest approach and maybe a landfall over one of the two islands, Mercer Solar Union, um, uh, here and as a, again, either a weak tropical storm, um, or maybe a little bit weaker than that. We'll have to see again. Uh, really, again, uncertain situation here. Hopefully, this you know continues to weaken here, um, and the forecast track continues to uh, get weaker and weaker here. We'll have to see. Um, but again, it's really uncertain situation. But regardless, I think uh, you guys, all of you guys, Rodriguez, um, Marissa, Laura, you need to be keeping a close eye on this storm here with time. Um, and uh, you know, just keep a close eye on it here. Stay aware of it and. Uh, if it uh, ends up, you know, going the opposite spectrum here and end up uh, exceeding forecasts in terms of intensity-wise, um, you know, uh, be just remember to be alert um, if that does happen. Hopefully that this, this doesn't happen, but um, again, we'll have to see about that. And I think this is pretty much about it here. That's really all I wanted to touch on here for this tropical update here. Um, again, of course, the main thing to talk about is uh, Tropical Storm Danilo right now. 
Again, it is a cur currently right now it is a 50 knot system system which is about 60 miles per hour and uh, forecast to continue gradually weakening at this point in time at least at this point in time. Um, again, the forecast is subject to change here, so don't just look at this one forecast track you see on your screen and take it like it's 100 percent guaranteed going to happen here. This is there's a lot of room for error unfortunately in this forecast track. It's not a completely set in stone forecast track. Um, we're talking about here so this again I really want to stress that here in this video and um, again hopefully this continues to weaken and maybe is if anything probably just a remnant low or, or, or dissipated by the time it makes it towards more system lower unit but again we'll have to see about that so um, that's pretty much going to be about it for this tropical update here if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability if you, want to know websites and if you want to know what websites and sites that I use for this topical update, they're down in the description below. Uh, go ahead and click on some of the links there and it'll take you to some of the websites that I used uh, for this topical update to get, uh, you know, satellite imagery and uh, information on what's currently going on uh, in the world of the tropics right now. So, um, yeah, that's going to be about it for this topical update here. Again, uh, for those of you guys in Mauritius, La Reunion, and Rodriguez, keep a close eye on this system here. Um, again, really uncertain forecast track uh, and intensity for this system, unfortunately. Um, so, again, just keep a close eye on it here, and uh, I'll try to make as many updates as I can here on this system here. And I apologize for the lateness of this update here um, right now, but uh, better late than never, I guess. So, again, hope everybody has a great day and networkers are. Stay safe, of course. Until then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.